Hello, great and flourishing people. My name is Chi Chi. For those of you that have seen me for the very first time, welcome to my channel. So today we have a topic of interest because this topic is gonna catch the attention of you know our young and beautiful ones out there. So, how long should you date before getting engaged? Because I, I know that for some, it's love at first sight. You just hear something like, you know, he proposed to me the very first day we met. For some, it takes days. For some, it takes weeks. For some, it takes few years. Why for some, it takes ages. Oh my God. You just hear something like, we've been dating for the past seven years. We've been dating for the past nine years. We've been dating for the past 20 years. Oh, Jesus. 20 years. You know, and you just look at this person. How old are you? You've been dating for the past 20 years. So, that is the one that really caught my attention, you know, dating for a very long time. Because you see something like this, at the end of the day, only a few percentage of such relationship ends up in marriage. Most times, it ends up in heartbreak. Oh dear. It ends up in heartbreak. So when you are dating someone and you are in your early 20s, I believe you have some time to still play around with each other, you know. You have some time to still catch your phone. But once you are already in your 30s, you know, approaching 40s, it's important you take your relationship very serious. Try to see if there's a way you can, you know, get the person hooked to you forever. Yes, because age is not really on your side again. You're already in your 30s. That means you're very ripe for marriage. At that point in time, you shouldn't be dating for, you know, seven more years or 10 more years or 20 more years to come. You know, at this point in time, you should be very serious and, you know, think of taking the relationship to the next level. So it's important to, to really pay attention to, to the person you are dating, you know, when you are in your, in your thirties or say approaching forties, it's important to really pay attention to, to that person. There are some signs to tell you that, you know, this relationship is going to be fruitful. This relationship is going to lead to marriage, you know. As a smart woman or as a smart lady, you will know if a guy really loves you. You will know from the relationship. If you're not free to be yourself in that relationship, if you're not free to express yourself, if you're being caged in that relationship, it tells that, you know, the guy has no plan for you. Because when a guy loves you, he's going to be very crazy about you. And I mean it. He's going to be very, very crazy about you. You know, I've, I've come across this in so many places, you know. You hear things like, a guy really knows the lady he wants to marry. I mean, a guy knows what he wants in a woman. From the first time, you know, he come across the woman. When a guy come across a lady, he can tell if he really likes this lady. He can tell if this relationship if that dating will end up in marriage but if a guy you know if he does not have your interest at heart if he does not have any plan to get tied to you you know in marriage in engagement to take the relationship to another level that guy would just be out there just to catch his phone you know and he doesn't care because for him it's a guy he believes he doesn't have much to lose. So you as a lady, you have to be very serious and pay more attention to your relationship. Pay attention to the guy you are dating. If you really want to get engaged on time, then you have to date someone that is mentally matured, someone that is, if possibly, age-wise matured. Because I believe such men, you know, don't have much time to date for that very long time to date for like seven years 10 years 20 years you know get engaged get 
uh, become a friend to um, someone that you know that any moment from now he's ready to engage you and marry you you know and another thing i believe again in is commit your relationship commit the person you are dating in the hands of god because when you commit that person in the hands of god you you pray for that person you ask god to help take your relationship to another level i believe so much in prayer i believe that nothing is impossible for god i have seen most people giving their testimonies like you know they prayed, they wanted to get married, and they prayed to God concerning it, and God made it to happen for them. So your case shouldn't be different. If you don't want to date for a long time, you have to commit it in the hands of God. And also play your own part. You know, study the man you are dating, know what he wants, and play along in that line. And before long, you know, it will not even take long, he will just engage you and take you to the altar and you guys are both married you know so back to the question how long should you date before getting engaged only you can really answer that question because no relationship is the same yours might be different from mine mine might be different from yours so only you can really tell how long you want your relationship to last before you guys get engaged to each other Please like this video, let's keep in touch, subscribe to this video, subscribe, subscribe please and leave a comment, share this video, I'll catch up with you again and again in my other videos. Bye!